Hi, it's Russ from Protoss Expert, and I want to show you a really cool feature that's now available in RX4, which is the leveler. And what leveler enables you to do is automate clip gain across the timeline. Now, this is obviously very useful for those working in post-production, but you can also use it in music. Uh, and I've got a piece of audio here, a vocal, on a track. And what you'll often do, if you've worked in studios, you'll know this, is that we ride faders as the audio is going through. We'll automate fate riding the fader, and then that will write the automation, and you do several passes of that. But now with RX4, it can do that automatically for you, and it works pretty well. So I want to show you how it works, and I'm going to use a few tools. I'm going to use RX Connect, which is going to send the audio from Pro Tools, uh, and into RX automatically, then let me work in it. And at the same time, I'm also going to use RX Monitor, which enables me to hear it back through Pro Tools. So I've got an auxiliary channel here under the vocal channel with RX4 Monitor. It's a plugin. In this case, it's in Pro Tools, but it works in other doors as well. And that will enable me to monitor the audio back through any Pro Tools system, be that HD or be that a regular native system as well. Very useful uh, because often getting audio back into HD can be quite hard from an external source. Here's the original audio first. Let me play that to you. I don't know where you came from, why you're here and why it's me. I don't know why you came in, what it was or what I felt. Into you. you can see it's going to peak a bit more. At the moment I have an 1176 doing some compression, but I could actually automate that as volume instead, so... So often you'll go through and you'll go through with your clip gain and you could either write it in or we could draw it in here. We could just go in and there and we could just pull that down a bit further. And that's what we could do. But as I say, you could automate the actual volume auto, uh, volume that's working on that timeline. So it's changing the volume. It's not compressing it. Let me show you how that works. The first thing I'm going to send it over to RX. I've also already got RX working in the background and I just send it and then it sends it to RX4 and then it's brought it forward now as well so I can work on it in Pro Tools. Now if I click on that then I hit my space bar I don't know where you came from because of RX Connect you can hear it coming back through me. Pro Tools here. I don't know why you came in. And if you haven't got that, if it doesn't say connected, that's because in RX4 you need to come into preferences and make sure that your driver is RX4 monitor there those two boxes there if you don't do that then you won't hear it it will just play back through your regular output device that you've chosen already so there's my audio and i can listen to it now i don't know where you came from why you're here and why it's me i don't know why you came in what it was so what we do is we just mark the whole thing and we go to leveler which is already open as you can see here and then it's telling us that the total RMS is minus 19. So I want it to be set at minus, uh, minus 19 as my target gain there, about there, set clip gain. And we just hit that and it goes through and it draws in that clip automation. As you can see, it's going through it. Now, depending, let me undo that again, because depending on how fast it works, we pull that right down to like this, say 0 0.5 seconds, do it now. You can see it does a lot more of the changes. And it's a case of getting that so it's set, so it's boosting in the right places and not boosting in other places. Now you can see here as well now, if I play that now, you'll hear it. I don't know where you came from, why you're here and why it's me. I don't know why you came in, what it was or what I felt, but I'm falling. And you can see the breaths have been pushed up as well now. So I'm going to try that again at about 1.1. That's starting to get better. Now what we can do as well, of course, we can get in here and we can just click in and out and just pull stuff down, just like any other clip gain in there. So I'm not going to worry about the breaths. There's two things I could do about the breaths. I can go in, I can now zoom in, I can find one of those breath points, and there's one there in the early part of the track. You can see them there, there's one there. And we can go in there, and if we mark an area now, make sure we're on this tool, and we mark this area here, there. I can zoom in even closer. And then I press the shift and the backspace, it deletes that clip gain. And we can actually go in there if we want to and just pull it down as well. So we could go through and do that as well if we wanted to. But I'm going to show you another trick too. I'm just going to do it here because that is a, is a breath there I don't want. So I'm just going to lose it there as well. Let's just hear that whole thing. I don't know where you came from. 
Now what we do then is we just send it back to Pro Tools. We hit this email kind of icon, click that, and you'll see the graphic there changes and it becomes, that's the audio that we're going to send back in. We go render, it's now in Pro Tools in the timeline. We can listen to that in, in situ. I don't know where you came from, why you're here and why it's me. I don't know why you came in, what it was or what I found. But I'm falling faster and further into you. Never let me forget standing, I'm flying with you. Now the other thing I could do then, I could use neck to breath control, which is another audio suite process. So we could quickly go through there. And I've got that set already on gain and sensitivity. And we could just hit I don't that. don't know where you came from, why you're here and why it's me. I don't know why you came in, what it was or what I felt. But I'm falling. Now every time you see that dropping down there, it's dropping down according to the sensitivity I've set. And the gain or the gain reduction I've set, it's giving me, a, it's ducking wherever wherever the breathing takes place. So it's rendered that now and the breaths have been removed as well. So let's hear that now. I don't know where you came from, why you're here and why it's me. I don't know why you came in, what it was or what I felt. But I'm falling faster and further into you. Never that's done that and of course then we can switch our 1176 back on and I don't know where you came from why you're here and why it's and that's doing some gentle compression now but it's not over compressing when it gets to those peaks that we've now drawn out using our volume automation there we are using RX4 and Nectar thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon